Okay, let's get started on the eyebrows. So there's multiple ways of creating the eyebrows. First, I'm gonna show you a mask and extract method. Um, you could also just sculpt them in using clay buildup. Although if you're sculpting them directly into the face, you may have issues painting them later. Um, next, you could try curve tubes and then sculpt them that way. And finally, you could use a sphere or um, append an object and sculpt them in that way as well. So at this point, it's whatever you feel most comfortable with and I'll show you a couple ways. So whichever method you want to use, um, it's really important to make sure you're using your reference image so you get a really nice, accurate um, eyebrow. Eyebrows can be the key to a lot of different expressions and we might as well put the expression in now. Um, Although if you do want to do more of a neutral pose, that's okay, and then pose them later, that's okay too. Um, I just think since I already did my eyes, I might as well do my eyebrows. Um, really important again to make sure that your eyes are nice and lined up while you're using your reference. Um, otherwise you're going to be placing your eyebrows in the wrong place. And now I'm just going to use my mask lasso brush. And if you're following along, don't actually use the mask lasso. I think that the mask pen will work better, but I want to show you this method. This could potentially work, but from my um, experience, the eyebrows turned out a little too bulky rather than the pen was a little more precise. So I'm going to show you this and just kind of speed it up. So I'm using my mask lasso brush to just draw out on my face layer. And then using control and then alt removes areas of the mask. So I'm just trying to get that nice sharp edge. So I feel like I did a pretty good job um, actually capturing those eyebrows. Now um, you're going to go down to geometry, oh sorry, masking, and you can sharpen your mask. I played with a few different settings between sharpen, blur, shrink, um, to see if I could get a nice sharp mask before I extracted. Okay, so next go up to subtool and the very bottom option is extract. Now there's a few options with extract. So there's this SMT, which is your smoothness control. There's this tiny circle with a blur next to it, and that controls how the smoothness is calculated and how smooth you can go. So this is a good setting to play with if you cho are choosing this option. Um, I particularly think that the little blurred circle on the right can be helpful. Um, and then remember that your thickness should be something tiny. It's default as 0.02, but I actually use 0.002 or 0.004. Um, finally, another thing to point out is that when you're masking, you may be creating um, eyebrows on the back of your head. So watch out for that and you can press Control and Alt and click and drag to make sure that that's not there anymore. And then finally, just give it a few tries. Um, I actually think that maybe this mask lasso worked pretty well. Um, I also tried using the mask pen um, and I do feel like that also, it works about the same. Um, unfortunately, it just kind of softens the edges a little bit so you then have to go in and adjust the geometry to try and sharpen it up. So that's kind of the downfall of using this mask and extract method. And here's um, turning off this under brush and curve and accu curve. It can help you get slightly sharper edges. Um, but basically I decided to try with the mask pen rather than the mask um, lasso. And I'm just gonna show you the results really quick. It actually turned out roughly the same. Um, so 
if you do have some very thin eyebrows, maybe skip ahead to the next option, which is um, curved tubes. So you can see when I'm extracting, I am using um, a pretty good uh, SMT, which is smoothing it. And then um, I'm also using my mask lasso again. And this time what I'm trying to do is mask off one side of this eyebrow and then just kind of pushing in the eyebrow to kind of kind of sharpen it as much as I can. It works, but it's not perfect. So it definitely requires some finesse. And then I used a clip curve to just kind of clip off the end. So if you want to go that route, that's perfectly acceptable. Just give it a try. Okay, so here's the other way that we can um, create our eyebrows is with curved tubes. So after looking at this, it actually turned out um, not as bad as I had thought the mask pen version. So I was just going to add some color to those eyebrows and no use in deleting them. We might as well keep them until we can figure out or I can figure out um, which method works better. Okay, so if we remember for our curve tubes, they were, it has to be made on an object without subdivisions. So what I did was go to my eyeball layer and delete any lower subdivisions just because the eyeballs are pretty pretty fine how they are. Um, and that'll enable us to draw these um, curve tubes. So I went ahead and drew a an eyebrow. I kind of remember how the shape goes because I tried with the extract. And I'm going over to my curve functions. Now, there's some cool options here. Under curve modifier, there's curve fall off. And basically this, if you turn on the size, this governs the shape of how this curve acts. So you can see when I click on the green end arrow, all of a sudden I have this thin to thick, um, curve tube and it's governed by this particular shape that I'm drawing here. So you can add as many curve points as you want and make adjustments um, and then just come in and click one of the end points and see how it affects. Um, I feel like I kind of got a little lucky with mine. Um, Yours may need more adjusting under using the move tool, but it's worth giving a shot and it's worth, um, worth trying out. So that's stroke and curve modifiers. And then when you're happy with it, hit delete, and that will delete that actual, the, um, checkerboard curve. And then once that's done, you can just use your move scale and rotate tool to scale it to size. And then the other important thing that you have to do is that you're gonna need to, if you didn't have symmetry turned on, for some reason I always make mine on the right hand side, but you actually have to mirror it over first and then mirror and weld because when our mirroring happens, it goes from left to right. So I'll just show you that as well. But you can see, I think I did a pretty good job on this. So I got lucky the first try. Okay, so to finish this up, I'm just going to mirror this over. So mirror is located in the deformation menu set. So click on mirror and then go down to Modify Topology, Mirror and Weld. Now when I mirror and welded, I realized that my eye came over too. So first you have to go back and split unmasked points. So that puts that eyebrow on its own layer and then go back and mirror and weld. All right, um, good luck. I hope you guys enjoy this part. I feel like making the eyes is a really fun um, part of modeling your characters.